where Justice Peter Yanko of the Federal High Court has withdrawn from the trial of IPOB leader Nam De Kano. Justice Yanko's decision followed an earlier request by Mr. Kano asking her to recuse herself from the trial over allegations that she refused to obey court orders of the Supreme Court. Nam De Kano's file will now be sent to the Chief Judge for reassignment to another judge. Finally, 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 Nigeria and the government of Nigeria will finally bow to pressure to release Mazi Namdekano. Nigeria to finally bow to pressure and release Mazi Namdekano. They will finally bow to pressure and they will quickly release Mazi Namdekano. And I began to ask the Lord, what's the essence of this? And what's the meaning of this? And God said, peace must return to everywhere in the country, especially the southeastern region. Peace must return there. And I see Nigeria government and all of that bow to pressure to now now let go and let Mazi Namdekano be free from the ends of dungeon and the people and the sea people rejoicing especially the people of indigenous people of Biafra and the people of Biafra now to rejoice because of what's called Nigerian government finally bow to pressure and also let go Mazi Namde. Kano or the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra and that is already by the side and that's one of the things that I see in the realm of the spirit that is going to happen and the Lord will continue to be glorified and be praised forever if you know and you know what I told you last year don't forget that before last year, two years ago, I started clamoring on people to now go into what's called the production and farming. And so many people were like, oh, major prophet of God, I'm going to do it. How am going to do it? I want to let you know that major prophet of God, I did not just tell you to do without me going into the battlefield and also into the farmland and doing something to making sure that I will not preach to people to go to heaven and myself be a castaway and go to hell. I said, God forbid, if after I preach to people to enter into the kingdom of God, I, the major prophet of God, must be among the people who be in the kingdom of God first before anybody. Because whatever I preach, I must do what I preach. If I say, don't steal, I must not steal. Whatever I said to you, I must be the first person to carry it out. Don't forget and the prophetic prophetic is like a way to shine the light is a way to show the road if you are a businessman in nigeria listen to this very message listen to this message every businessman in nigeria if you are a businessman in nigeria or you are working in nigeria now listen pay attention to what i'm saying because whatever i said to you is what's called the ordained word of god and you know you're doing a business and the business you're doing is something you always import from abroad. Please and please find a way to have a local way to produce that thing that will be as good as how the ones you import abroad look like. Now, when you begin to now find a way to start producing locally, now find a way to minimize your cost so that your production will not be costing you excess. Now, when you produce, you bring the one in China, just make a difference of, okay, this one is 20 naira, this one is 18 naira. And then let people start knowing that some of them, that you have the varieties. Because very soon, you will not need to import. You will need to produce. That is one. Number two, people who are in the country, if you know you are in the country and you don't know anything about farming, please go and learn farming. Go and learn farming because the reason why you are seeing all this thing happening because major prophet of God have been given grace by God to see the end of things before they begin to happen. It is not my making. It is the spirit of God in the life of the major prophet of God that is seeing all of this thing. The reason why you are seeing what's going on, refinery here, refinery there, refinery there. International market will be tired of a refinery because I'm seeing what's going on. People now inventing so many things. You will see cars. A lot of cars are going to roll out from this 2024 to 2020 and 2010. From this 2024 to 2030, 2050. A lot of cars will be out there and there will be electric cars some of them will be run on solar some of them will be run on battery and uh, your petrol you go and drink it go and drink your petrol that is why everybody now in nigeria is quickly trying to build what's called a refinery so that, that they can start refinery here and begin to milk money and milk 
money from the people who is going to continue to use all this all this all this all this petrol and all of this everybody will swift into what's called electric cars some people will shift into what's called electric engines some will tweak into what's called solar system and before you know it nobody is going to fill station i want to buy fuel i want to buy this oil. i want to buy this i want to buy this it's not going to be again this is why they are trying to now build the different refineries to keep keeping you to continue to bring your total cover and your shishi the money you have to use and eat you put it on petrol and diesel so go and find something now start working on yourself because very soon you will not need anything petrol or fuel you will see what's called a cheaper means of electricity, cheaper means of, uh, of, 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 of transportation, cheaper means of different things uh, that will make you, you don't need diesel, you don't need petrol, you don't need all of this thing. This is what Major Prophet is telling you before the time. And don't forget the prophecy I gave you last year and also repeated it on the cross of a night when I told you about what's called banking policy that will come out you remember that last month after i've given the prophecy some months ago and last year they heard about recapitalization where they're going to tell the banks that all the banks should start now recapitalizing and the first one they will start with what international banks will start with what 500 billion naira and other people will pay 200 billion and the one that will pay 20 billion and thereabout and so on and so forth the essence of that is that there is not going to be much banks in nigeria what major prophet of god i am a prophet that god has given the grace to see the end of things before they start i'm not here to to parablate i'm not here to make noise it is the gift of a man that make it away it is the call of god in my life i cannot drag it with anybody but when i finish the prophecy you are free to tell others you are free to tell people but tell them major prophet of god saw this and prophesied it tell the major prophet of god has prophesied all of these things and you see them begin to happen in your very eye 2027 what's going to happen there <laughs> because we are talking about it right now and the Lord have taken the major prophet of God in 2027 what is going to happen but time is still far there are things you don't let out when you let the cat out you have exposed everything so major prophet of God I am in the opinion that everybody should now begin to learn what's called one skill or the other because in the prophetic, everything is clear before my God. My God who see it all. My God who know it all. My God who help the people of God to now actualize. Start to do something very soon. Because uh, many of you will not use generator again. Even this one that government is trying to fight their best to make sure that the electricity. Companies will come. Many companies will appear here and there. And they will take over the electricity and the means of electricity will be much that you don't need your generator anymore all those generators will be thrown away all those generators will be sold scrap so we need to pray i want to trust god we need to be confident in our god don't forget the song i have confidence in you anytime any day i have confidence in you i have confidence in you anytime any day i have confidence in you amen hallelujah 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 so people of god and children of god all over the world the lord god almighty have already instructed us we must make sure that we are a brother's keeper don't shy away what I am seeing that will begin to happen this weekend to next week, bombardment of Israelites. The Israelites bombarding Iran. And that will escalate. It will escalate. Go and write what I'm saying right now. Write it now. It will escalate. We need to pray serious prayer to stop these things stop this thing by the power of prophecy stop this thing by sitting on the seat of prophecy stop this thing by prophesying stop this thing by decree stop this thing by praying the prayer of the righteous and the bible says the prayer of the righteous are the let somebody watching me wherever you're watching me the lord is giving a woman a child i see you receive a baby boy as i'm speaking right now if 
if you are the woman, comment amen and receive. Comment amen and receive. I see a woman carry a bouncing baby boy. The Lord has released a bouncing baby boy to a woman watching me right now. You're watching me and you've been trusting the Lord for bouncing baby boy. I don't know whether it is going to be your third child or it's going to be your second, but this is what holy a baby boy given to you. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. I am seeing a young man that's watching me right now and you're praying to say, man of God, put me in prayer, I and my family, because in my family, there's a lot of attack. Yes, of the truth, there's a lot of attack. They've killed somebody just recently, not too long. They killed somebody in your family. And they are also giving you bad news of another person they want to kill. But listen to me, the voice of the Lord thundering, the voice of the Lord breaking the, the cedars of Lebanon. And as I'm speaking right now, the voice of the Lord has entered into your father's house to say, silence touch not the anointed and the word of god said let no man trouble you for you bear the mark of christ in your body what you need to do for me now is make sure that this prayer you claim this prayer and also take a bottle of oil and pray midnight prayer this night and anoint yourself and you will see the finger of god because the angel of possibility will appear to you in your dream i will tell you worry no more you will now know the major prophet of god i don't speak on my own until the holy spirit has engineered the major prophet of god to now prophesy and the major prophet of god will prophesy according to what god has revealed to him and again another thing i want to do now is that people who are diaspora people in diaspora i'm seeing people in diaspora that want to come home a lot of you in diaspora want to come home. Some people don't want to come home to Nigeria. Some don't want to come home to their Africa country. Some want to come home in a country where they can be proud of. But listen to me. God will make you proud. God will prepare the way. God will prepare the place. God will make all things perfect. And God, when you'll be coming, you'll be coming with testimony. You'll be coming with a miracle. You'll be coming with fulfillment. For the hand of the Lord will be lifted up for your sake. And every battle that is always ahead of you god is taking over your battle somebody say i receive comment seven times i receive for somebody here watching me i am seeing a mega breakthrough in your life that nobody in your family has ever gotten such a promise nobody in your family has gotten such a breakthrough a mega breakthrough comment seven times i receive i receive i receive seven times god is going to surprise you be among the people whom god have chose to bless this evening and the blessings of god the bible says, make it rich and add no sorrow god will never allow any sorrow to interfere with the blessing that he has for you today for god has blessed you god has lifted you up god has made a way for you god has opened your way god has answered your prayer god has connected you god is anointing your head as i'm prophesying as i'm speaking right now god is fighting strong battles on your birth god is fighting strong battles on your behalf god is already in your father's house to demand your right to demand what belong to you to give it to you all that belong to you that the enemy have been struggling with you whatever the enemy have been trying to collect from you god is restoring them back santa bakata shita sakata bakata shita sakata bakata shita sakata bakata shita roko potoko shente kapaka sekita lakarapanta i prophesy upon your life in the area of your business you must succeed in the area of your job you must succeed a man is watching me you have been having bad dreams every of your bad dream is arrested right now and god has scattered the power of bad dreams you will dream bad dream no more for the hand of the lord has taken over in your life and god is fighting spiritual battle on your behalf god has moved ahead of you all those people that normally appear in your dream to trouble you to disturb your life to torment you to put you on the run they will never ever see you anymore for the hand of the lord is already prevailed over your head for your head is carrying the oil and this oil is called the oil of possibility right now i prophesy the oil of possibility upon your life upon your business upon your job upon your destiny upon your career anything that thou will lay your hand to do it is written it must succeed you will make it you will not fail you will go higher higher nobody can bring you down you will continue to step higher higher and anywhere you enter heaven begin to shut those places down for your sake shut down powers for your sake 
shut down kingdoms for your sake shut down stupidity and anything that is of the devil let the lord shut them down for your sake it is well with your spirit it is well with your soul even if they have terminated your job god is giving you a brand new job even if they have tampered your health god is restoring your health somebody watching me now i'm seeing you complaining internally a lot of pains in your stomach a lot of pains in the heart a lot of pains inside you you are not okay you are complaining the healing of god is already touching your body the lord have touched your body the lord have touched your body the lord have touched your body divine healing divine health divine health divine health divine health in jesus most powerful name i pray it is well with you it is well with your spirit it is well with your body in jesus name another matter that the lord is taking the measure of prophet of god now to now begin to look into is what's called what's called this was called in the realm of the spirit this was called in the realm of the spirit this was called the lord must now now step in to now make a way for especially people who are less privileged less privileged god is about to make you people happy because there's something god is already cooking god is cooking something to make sure that the less privileged especially people in the low class can now be able to enjoy the things that god is preparing for you i am seeing what's called a, a kind of fund and this fund will be there for recycling especially people who are ready to now dip into this fund make use of this fund and return this fund god will want to do something for you i pray for you that anything it may be that god is about to use to bless you to say to you let the lord quickly make them happen in the name of jesus and i pray that this very program as it started this today tomorrow i am coming back for you and when i come tomorrow i'm going to be doing what's called life prophecy one-on-one -on -one with the major prophet of god you know what it means by one-on-one -on -one with the major prophet of god you will come from anywhere and god will use me to prophesy into your life because i'm going to go into what's called a prophecy life to prophesy into your life and there will be great testimony amen thank you jesus thank you almighty god for everything that you have done for the lord has done it all and nothing remains he has opened the door he has blessed his people he has lifted us high and because the lord has lifted you high you will remain high and high above every limitation in the name of jesus christ